Hello and welcome to Link Wizard version 2 training videos. Now out here we have a lot of features that's very exciting for all our users. We would start with the training for Shot and Link. We go ahead to this create drop down and we click on Shot and Link. Once you click on Shot and Link, it gives you an option to enter the actual URL. So for the time being, I'll go to this amazon.com L copy this link I'll go back to my link wizard page and I'm going to paste this link where it actually asked me to enter the actual URL now after I have pasted this link I would come down and the second option out here it says customize link URL now in the default I have inkw.co I have options these are all my URLs that has been already mentioned here. In case you want to go ahead and customize link URL, you can click out here and then you can enter a shortened suffix of your choice. Now after doing that, you have an option to either select this, which says this is a Facebook Messenger reference URL. If you click out here, what happens is whenever you try to create a shortened link, or create a URL there is a unique ID that gets created along with this for example with my Amazon URL see this is the unique ID that has been created for this particular link so in case I do not want that particular unique ID I would go ahead and click on this 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 option which says this is a Facebook messenger reference URL now if I want to go ahead and set a password for this particular link I just have to click on set password and I can go ahead and enter a password out here for this particular link so that not too many people would barge into this link of mine if I just want this link to be set to restricted number of people so for example I go ahead and I put my password out here And now the password has been created. I will show you the password that has been created just for your understanding. I've just given a random password of 123456. Then we have the other option, add solo vendor. When you click on add solo vendor, you have out your number of clicks, name of the provider, and amount paid. I will come to this on a later video when I explain solo vendor, how it works. Then you have add pixel. You can go ahead and you can add pixel from your social profile, which has your pixel ID. You can use any of your social profile which carries your pixel ID in order to add that. I will explain this in a later video. Add tags. In case you want to go ahead and add tags, you can go ahead and add tags out here. Once I take you through the manage tags video, you will get to know how you can go ahead and add tags. Once you create tags, you get options out here which you can add. Then we come to descriptions. Once we come to description, you can go ahead and write anything of your choice which relates to the link that has been given here, that has been added here. And that description will help you distinguish why you have actually created this short link. Then we come to add customized redirecting page. Now in add customized redirecting page, you have an option to select the redirection timing. Now I would change the timing to five seconds out here. If you want to change the set background color, you can go ahead and do that. I would select this as the background color. Go ahead and select, yes. So let the color be this. I've changed the color. Now in case I want to go ahead and change the text color, I can also go ahead and do that. I will select white. So that has been changed. In case you want an icon from your computer to be uploaded, you can go ahead and add any icon from your computer. Let me just quickly look for an icon. I will go ahead and I will put this. So this is the icon that I have selected. 
it's uploaded the custom logo this is the logo that i actually wanted to be there now the second options when we come to the next one it's add fab icon now what is fab icon fab icon is basically whenever you click on any side for example on facebook you would have the square box with an f written on it in google you would have the circle with a g written on it in amazon you have this box out here as well you have this a written on it that is the fab icon let's move on to the other option after that you can also go ahead and you can customize your fab icon you can select anything of your own so i'll just go ahead and put something with this picture so this is my this is going to be my fab icon for this particular link now add link preview I have to go ahead and click here in case you do not add any custom image out here and you want the original to be used you just have to mention out here the original to be used this is the original one for this particular link that has brought it forward now if I want to go ahead and you know if I am putting a link for example YouTube it's a long link and I'm going to go ahead and put that link out there in order to create a shortened link so YouTube is going to pull a picture of theirs from that website and it's going to be here. So that will be the original one. However, if you want to go ahead and customize this, you can just go ahead and add any picture of your choice. So if I put this, that is my custom image that I have. Anytime you can go ahead and remove the image as well. Add title to it. Now I'm going to make the title as brand. See the title has been created out here. If you want to go ahead and give a description, now this is Amazon web page. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a description saying that shopping website for my use. That will be my description. Now in case I want to, you know, when we come down to the next level out here, it says set access level. What is set access level? You can go ahead and you can add an expiration date. You can change the time, select date and time for expiry. You can go ahead and since I'm in India, I'm going to go ahead and select that date. So I'm just gonna leave it with that. If you want, you can go ahead and select a particular date. Let's say 31st of October, 12 a.m. This particular link will expire. Now I want to go ahead and set a redirection page URL after expiration. So let's say I'm going to leave it with the same link that I have created. So what happens once the link expires, it will redirect me to this particular link all over again. However, if you do not put a link out here, it will not redirect you to any link. So I'm going to leave with this and then I'm going to go ahead and create a short link. Now I'll show you what happens after I create the short link. Now that my short link has been created, I would come here, I would check. This is the short link that has been created. Now out here we have four options just next to the short link. URL, there are four options out here. If you can see these, these icons out here. The first one says open link. If you click here, it redirects you to the link that you have created. See, it's asking for the password. Now you remember that we had set a password out there and I even showed you the default password. The you know, random password that I selected for myself, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. I submit and I proceed. So this is my redirection page. If you remember the timing that I had set for five seconds, the background, and see, this is the link that we had set. So it takes you there. Then the second option is you copy this link, you open a new tab, you paste it. The redirection page will ask you for a password. It's been verified. This is the background, the logo that we had selected, the timer still on. And then it takes you to a URL that you had created, the long URL that you had given and you had entered for the short URL. So it takes you to this particular page. Now the third option out here is you can any point of time, go ahead and edit this. What you would need to do once you click there, 
it brings you back to edit a shortened link and you can go ahead and edit the shortened link out here. The fourth option out here, we have these five options. The fourth option out here is you can clone this at any point of time. Okay, you just go ahead and create short link out here. It clones it. It gives you a different URL. Now when you come here, see, this is the actual URL, the short URL that was created by me to show you. And this is the clone one. So we do not need the clone URL right now. If I even go ahead, copy this URL, try to paste it here, it's going to take me to the same page, the same URL that we had created. Yes, definitely it will ask you for a password. So I've entered the password, clicked on verifying password. And here you can see, it takes me back to the same page, the same URL that we had added. Now, at any given point of time, you can go ahead and you can delete this URL. Now, this is the clone URL, so we do not use it. We do not need that right now. So I've deleted, and this is the actual URL. Now, if you see in this graph out here, it shows today there were two clicks on this particular URL. So it gives you a count, and here it will give you the total number of clicks. Now, when you start working on these URLs, it will also help you understand the sale conversion that gets automatically captured, lead conversion and custom conversion out here. Now, these circles that are here, it helps you to track the total number of clicks. So it's from India that we had tried logging into this particular URL. There were two clicks, so it gives me 100%. Now, when I check, the browser out here also you see it's mentioned India. When I click on the browser status, it will show Chrome. There were two clicks from Chrome itself. Now out here, the platform status, it says two and then 100% Win 10. That's Win 10 is we are using Window 10, the operating system. Now referring channel, referring channel dot traffic. Since I was the one who had actually created this particular URL and I was trying to log in, so it gives me dark traffic. Now out here, redirects. What are redirects? It redirects you to that same particular page and if there are any block. So as of now, we do not have any block, so we are just being redirected to that particular destination of ours. Now when you come down, you see there are four options out here geolocation redirect logs block logs and conversion status when we come to geolocation in case you want to go ahead and you want to block any of these countries since we haven't blocked everyone from different countries can go ahead and view the url we provide them with that however if you block certain countries those countries will not be allowed to click on this URL or to log into this particular URL. So I will explain to you about geolocation in a later video. I will explain to you about the, you know, the other features in Link Wizard version 2 in my other videos. So as of now, we have learned how to go ahead and create a shortened link. In case you have any queries, any concern, you can always Send us your questions or you can always contact us. Thank you.